Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The terror launch pads at the other side of LOC are full and looking for every possible opportunity to infiltrate. Night is an obvious choice for such activities as it has an advantage of low light. Which is why night vision devices are needed for our security forces to improve their surveillance and vigilance capability. Good news is that Indian private sectors are doing extremely well in this segment. They are not only developing the optical systems for Indian armed forces but supplying them to top military and special forces of foreign countries like US and Israel. Many of you would be aware of Tonbo Imaging, a Bengaluru based tech company. Now Tata Power Strategic Energy Division or Tata Power Z which is part of TASL Tata Advanced System Limited has also been developing and supplying the night vision devices to our security forces regarding which we will be discussing in detail in today's video. So let's get started. The Tata Power Z has backed a contract from Indian Navy for supply of 180 numbers of helmet mounted night sight HMNS after competing in an open global tender and successfully clearing the exhaustive field trials held at one of the naval bases in Mumbai, which also included seawater immersion of the equipment up to 15 meter in 2019. The supply of these night vision system is expected to be complete almost an year ago and that's why you could have seen in one of our video an Indian Marine Commando Marcos using such helmet mounted night sights. The model is known as binocular night vision goggle Rajak I-222P. The HMNS consists of a lightweight twin tube night vision binocular fitted on an advanced combat helmet which is a bulletproof, comes with optimal controls and user friendly adjustments incorporating many advanced features like automatic light cutoff, interchangeability from bino to mono configuration and head protection from 9mm by 19mm FMG RN ammunition with 8.0g slash 124 grain mass fired from submachine carbine or MP5. It has been tested as per NIJ standard field conditions with muzzle velocity of 436 meter per second. Both the NVD as well as BP helmet are of Tata make. The night vision equipment is best and latest in class with generation 3 minimum 1700 plus figure of merit image intensified tubes having inbuilt auto gating technology that automatically adjusts the light intake thereby substantially enhancing the life and performance of the tube. The equipment being lightweight is best suited for operational needs of troops during night ambience as it not only boosts troops night vision capabilities several folds but also drastically improves the depth perception due to its twin tube configuration giving better maneuverability and much required edge over the enemy. Tata Power Set has been in the process of developing state-of-art night vision devices both in image intensifier and thermal imaging domains and has invested substantially to establish world-class optronics manufacturing and testing facility in its Bangalore factory for night vision operational requirements of the Indian forces. This facility also caters to the requirement of maintenance and after-sales support. With maximum indigenization, SED has designed, developed and produced various image intensifier and thermal imaging devices in recent past and the same are currently in use with forces such as Border Security Force, National Security Guard, Central Reserve Police, Indian Army and various state police. BSF is using Tata Power Sets Rajak TBC DN1 multifunctional handheld thermal imaging systems and has selected through a global tender after exhaustive field trials. The end user's feedback on the performance of these devices during night ambience has been quite encouraging. Tata said night vision devices are also in service with world leading forces such as German Army, Swiss Army and US Marine. This was today's update. 
Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.